Hello, it's Tyler with Diesel Laptops. I want to give you a quick overview of the different icons that are on your desktop. So before you jump right into IDC5 and start connecting to trucks, let's talk about some of these other things as well. And let's start with DTC Solutions. DTC Solutions is going to be your quick and easy repair information. So all you would do is go in here and just simply select any possible engine, ABS, or transmission system. Then you select your exact model you're working on, and all your code information is going to be listed in here. So all you got to do is go in here, click your code information, you get some great information on why the code got set, and it'll give you down probable causes and possible repairs down further in the information as well. You can print the solutions. A lot of them also have pictures regarding wiring schematics or component locations. It's just a nice, quick, easy way to try to get in the ballpark of what you're looking for. To get a little bit deeper than that, we have a program called Knowledge Base. And what Knowledge Base is, is it's a more detailed troubleshooting guides, wiring schematics, repair information, all that kind of stuff that you're always asking for if the quick, and, the quick lookup doesn't work from DTC Solutions. So for example, let's go look at Caterpillar. Say I'm working on a CAT and I have a C13 engine. I can go in here and I can click on DTCs and it's going to list every single diagnostic trouble code that could possibly be on that engine. If I click on one of them and open it up, it'll open up the PDF file for what we're looking at. So there it is. There's the PDF file straight out of Caterpillar telling you exactly how it works and what that code is. And it'll reference you to go to some other diagnostic tests possibly or some other areas. All of those are loaded on the tool as well. So let's close that. I'll hit the little back arrow to go back one. And now we can see our service manual section. In the service manual section, you'll find all those diagnostic functional tests that it may ask you to run in some of the troubleshooting guides. There'll be other commands in here, how to troubleshoot without a diagnostic code. This is great for truck blows black smoke, truck blows white smoke, truck won't start, any kind of issues that are going on with a vehicle. You can go in here and get the troubleshooting from Caterpillar and what they recommend to do. Let me go back a little bit further and let's go talk about wiring schematics. In here you will see we can pull up the wiring schematics for the equipment that you want to look at. So this will pull up the PDF with Caterpillar. As I make that full screen and it kind of draws everything here, it is kind of hard to look at, but it's only zoomed in at 20%. So if you want to get a little bit deeper, you can just hit the little plus sign up here, zoom on in to the area that you're looking for to get your detailed wiring information. So we'll zoom way in there so everyone can see exactly that it does have the information not only the number of the of the cable but also tells you what color it is and what gauge wire it is going past that information there's a couple other things on here one of them is the texa manuals so if i double click it to open this is an actually 83 page document that will tell you everything you want to know about the texa software in depth including every single command and function we honestly don't expect you to read it all of our tech people here know it very very well we always tell you if you have any problems at all, please call the phone number that is on the sticker on your laptop. If you don't remember the sticker, can't find the sticker, it gets lost, can't remember the phone number, there's an icon here that says contact tech support. So simply just open that icon, it'll go on our website, and it'll give you the phone number to call if you need tech support. You can also email us at this email address, or you can simply just fill out this information, hit the submit button, and we will get a case file created on our side and one of our service technical reps will call you right back. There is another self-paced training guide on here as well. So when you first load this, make sure you hit the allowed block content button. And then to start it, you just simply start hitting the forward arrows to page through it. And this is a great tool. It'll go through telling you beyond just how to use the tool. There's some good electrical information in here. It talks about codes, some really, really good information. You'll find some interactive videos in here as well. And it goes through pretty in depth everything you would ever care to know about the Texa tool. We also comes preloaded with a bunch of training videos, and possibly you're watching one of these right now on the computer. So if you just find the Texa training video icon, you open it up, you can play these videos anytime you want. They are also all loaded on YouTube. The other folder that we have on here is Cummins. We do have some very specific Cummins service manuals on here. The biggest one here is this one that says All Cummins Troubleshooting. So if I click this icon, this is going to launch up the Cummins Fault Information System. So to find a help in here, uh, and obviously we have this information already in DTC Solutions, and we have this in uh, the Knowledge Base Program. As I go through here, let's just say we want to get more information on any particular thing, we would simply put the, hit the plus signs next to it and kind of drill down to what we're looking for, and we can actually get all the way down to our fault code level. 
and it's the exact same thing as you would find in Gumpkin's Insight. So all those are loaded on the tool as well. All right. So that's the real quick overview. The only other thing that you'd ever need to maybe launch is this TeamViewer 11. TeamViewer is the tool that we use to remote access your computer for technical assistance. We may ask you to minimize your desktop, click that little blue icon on there, and give us some numbers that show up on the middle of the screen over here. We do have everyone on remote management, so it's not too often we actually have to ask you to load that, but you might. These other two icons that you see up here, these would be ever used for having to send files back and forth through the Texas system. One of the most common ones is Caterpillar trim files. So we would have to go in here, if you got your trim file from CAT, throw it in the laptop, copy it off of the DVD drive, and you would just transfer it into this folder right here that says in and then CAT. So that is the very quick overview. Please watch the other videos. Thank you for your time. We'll talk to you soon.